Good morning, America. And welcome back. It's 5.30. I think we're around four and a half hours of sleep. It, the rain did come in. Some cars got soaked and their electronics shut off. All the stuff that we thought was going to happen, so we took precautions and pulled over an hour early. We, we don't think they're going to start on time, but we're going to try to get there just because I think it's going to be real slow. Supposedly there's construction on the way. Nick's big home track is what I would call this. It's not his home track, it's his big home track. So going to Indy today, we'll talk to you soon. We're out. Fuel stop number one. Tan -tan. Mac TV is at the gas station again. So we were like an uh, like uh, an hour before the weather hit. So we it just started raining on us as, yeah. uh, as we pulled into. Uh, we just got a hotel about two miles down the road there. Oh, okay, yeah. So we, we were one. We were about ten miles up from you. So yeah. yeah. So uh, introduce you. This is uh, we're on Mac TV, and uh, right basically, on. yep. So just wanted to introduce you. Everybody believes, hey, maybe these guys get picked up in cargo trailers and then dropped off places. These guys are legends in my eyes. They came on from Canada. I think they FedEx themselves in. They worked really hard to get in legally. Um, and uh, brand new car. They are number one overall. Um, all new combination. Their other car, they've won before. Um, this car is potentially one of the coolest builds out there you know nitrous car um, big cubic inches so uh, driver Dave Schroeder yeah co-pilot John Enns yeah so yeah John's got a little uh, street car garage and uh, you know most of the work in this car was done in there yeah so um, body work by uh, composite uh, synergy uh, composites uh, body. Nice. So, uh, and then, yeah, they're just up down the road from us in yeah. uh, London, Ontario. There you go. And then uh, motor is by. Rare, it's a rare Morrison Promod motor, right? And uh, we got our engine builder Ken's Customs Autos to do uh, all the machining. You know, give it some oil pressure at idle when it's 180 in traffic. Nice. And, uh, and lots of small, like lots of other uh, bits to make the, the motor survive the road. Survive the road. And it's just the tricks that they do. So um, their good buddy is Calvin, who uh, I, I met uh, like five years ago. And uh, he's just, uh, he's awesome. He's a hoot. He's always a good time. Um, but some of the cool tricks they did, they, for race setup, you, you can remove the mirrors, right? You just kind of yep. do little tricks of the trade there to really turn it into you a race. built these street exhaust, which uh, comes off in about a, a minute aside. Really? Um, you know that we didn't want to have a big ugly exhaust and it's like this car is so low so he uh he went from a six inch round to a eight by one rectangular to the exit there wow and that pound and he, he he did that the old way oh yeah hammer the old, yeah hammer and a dot hammer and a dollar right, right so yeah. but uh yeah that's see it's that stuff this is the stuff where you gotta like talk to these guys because if you don't see them on the road you won't see you know i mean you won't know that it's it's all hooking up but basically uh street mode i think is the coolest mode of these cars um because obviously everybody gets so infatuated with the speed seeing what That's they do the to make part. it yeah, yeah seeing what they make it to do to go on the road is amazing and pulling a trailer so uh, I appreciate your time. Yeah, nice and chat. So nice good luck. With you. Yep, and good luck to you. I might need to talk to Calvin to make us some because we're dying of uh, carbon fumes. So oh, our, you should see our exhaust modified. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we appreciate it, guys. Keep right tuning on. in. We'll talk to you later. See you at the track. See you at the track, yeah.
What do they call this big go? Just the big go. The big go. Indy, we made it. Uh, weather, uh, no real car issues. We got it covered up the best we could, so we didn't get any electrical. Uh, Gremlins, hopefully, it's changeover mode right now. Um, we followed uh, the Corvette in. Obviously, they're leading. <laughs> they're running 650s at two million miles an hour. They're awesome guys, cool and collect. We're gonna get the changeover happening, and then we're gonna get in line and uh, do what we do. Three hundred. After passing countless of closed gathering in the middle of the night, there's a gap. She just goes through an 861 and a 
so it like made a move and I had to pull it while in the shape. Can you make it ahead? Yeah, yeah, we just got some in shape. Yeah, about ready to make another rip battery. Yeah, so this bolt on the tie rod, the, basically, I had this bolt going up with our bump steer spacers. Well, our, our spindle is here. Well, it messed up these threads, so it allowed this to move around on the spindle and gave this wheel play. So now I'm going to turn it around to where the shoulder goes through the spindle and doesn't let it move around. This whole, I guess after really the wheelie, it kind of showed itself pretty good. Um, you got like a hard metal bowl versus like a, it's really like a factory control arm or a spindle uh, mount and basically it's soft metal and what's happened is, is it's just like moving and you drive it down the road and it's kind of walling itself out. We're gonna drive, we just, like I said, there's this had a w on drivers got, got it. get some more seat time and the car got it. good, yeah, the, we just, there's, like he's saying, there's so much stuff we're figuring out from changing it from one, right. one the opposite, opposite end of the, world. the spectrum world. to this end of the spectrum. Yeah. It's just like, you take a car on the street, it'll go down the street every time, you take it to track, it might go left every time just because the track hooks so much better. And now, if this thing moves around on me, I don't think anything of it. I'm just like, oh, it's a track. Well, now you get it on a track, you can't blame the track. It's got to be something with the car. So, just stuff we got to figure out. Don't show Brandon. I broke another sensor. That is not the sensor's fault. <laughs> I did this. Just don't tell anybody. We're going to hide this to be never seen again ever. I just wanted to make sure it was good. Oh my gosh, it's almost 2 o'clock and they're closing at 2 o'clock, so if we do not get this run, we may not get to run on the run, and then the run is just ran out. You get all that? No, the closing lanes are 2. Hello? Sorry, I was on the camera. I forgot I was calling. Sorry, my accountant. This tuna should go 750s. Front end's tighter, everything's better. We fixed the steering. I mean, what more could you ask for? We've got a double A driver here. You know, people say they're A1, he's A2, double A. He's got a license to prove it. And we got the moon tuner here. He thought I was nuclear, wait till you see his tuner. <laughs> Like, then it's not the fuel pump sounds like it's like making a funny like beep, 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 beep. it's not like trying to you know what I mean it's making a funny noise. Yeah, you're leaking oil. Okay. Yeah. I gotta stop being shy on that right thing. I'm always worried about keeping the train. Oh, of course. You, get used to it. you know what I mean? Like because yeah. I feel like I don't want to be sitting on Do the Do a train. Rocky Mountain where it's like 30 seconds, tend to feel like shit, man. Yeah. yeah. And it goes up there fast. I mean yeah. it's yeah, like you're good. it's up there fast. It's not like I'm waiting for it, but I just feel like it's and we got Hopefully plenty of cool. Yeah, I, that's my cute concern. Is sitting on that too long? Like in my yeah. head, I feel like I'm yeah. like, oily. You don't fixed. have to sweat. You can sit there all day. It's got enough cool yeah, real sit yeah. all day. If everybody doesn't know Zach when he likes something. He just says, well, I was "It's just to you know." Back to get back in the office. That's his thing. Shut so now he's got me. Every time I tell somebody somewhere I'm describing something I like, I keep doing this. I hate myself for it. The, 
I turned back. Uh, I think we were sitting for a long time with that thing just running. And basically, uh, when we got around, uh, I was grabbing the chute and went to turn it on and started, started driving, and then shut off. So, uh, pretty sure it's fuel pump. It's making funny noise. Um, hopefully, uh, we can get Motion Race Works to overnight us one ASAP if that's the issue. We're going to check over some things. Could be anything, but let's just verify. Thank you. So, uh, ticket to the right lane. On the 127, what we expected. Uh, I mean, we're just not getting it in the 60. So, um, but 7, 7, 8, with 179. I mean, we're consistently running an 80. We're running 70. So, I don't know. It's not a 780 car. That's frustrating at part of it. So we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. So we got track down an oil leak. We got track down a fuel pump uh, issue. I don't know. Um, we got uh, total miles today. What? Never mind. It's a long one. It's 300, 298 miles. Another late night. Probably be pretty stressed by the end of it. So hopefully we can sort this problem out. We'll take as long as it, we have to here and we'll just try to make it work. But. Um, hopefully, uh, we can track down parts if we need them. Thank you. Is that groovy great? No, I think it's a burn up pump. Oh, God. Oh, that's yeah. what that burn smell was. was it might one, of the, one of the jugs, down, one of the filters right? from the jugs. Under yep. the back bumper of the you hand me the needle nose out of there. A foot away from this guy. Never done it. No wonder, kill Kill it. Try to see if you can roll that thing. Ow. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, that was part of the bearing. You fellas haven't have any Loctite. Really? You're going to come asking for Loctite? Yeah. What kind do you need? Any kind. What Is it going in a fuel car? car? Green Mustang. Dude. Oh, you guys are all right. <laughs> oh, thanks. I appreciate you. Keep the parts on it. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're trying to Loctite shit on so I don't <laughs> lose everything. We were following you guys last night and then you lost this. You're better off fucking. Oh, well, I'm surprised because we got a fuel, five gallon fuel cell. <laughs> Oh shit, so right Thank you, sir. Or there's I'll be right back. Cool beans. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Zach almost just got hit by a car. This is Joe Barry's Loctite. We better go fast. Yeah, if you would have asked me when I was probably many, many moons ago when I was probably 20 years old, if you would have asked me if I'd be borrowing stuff off Joe Barry, I would have said no way because I didn't think I'd ever be in the same vicinity as him. Was that before you were bald? Dude, I started going bald when I was like 18. <laughs> I was still in high school and I think I started getting a receding hairline. Yeah, having fun. We are not professionals. What's your name again? Paul. Paul what? Powell. Paul Powell. Okay. Listen, if I never have to pull the same part again, I'll be fine with that. Listen, he's already talked about when he gets home, he's going to get a real pump called a belt drive. Yeah. yeah. Just don't tell Lonnie that. Because me yeah. and him argued about it. Really? Yeah. Tried to tell him on it? This was my idea. This was? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's not talk about it. I always tell people, I said, you know, they got a five horsepower electric motor in to turn that thing. Your engine won't know five horsepower was there or not. You took the wrong, you took the wrong deep end, dude. Damn it. I told him to you're gonna um, take uh, content, and I'm gonna sit here and eat because this is the first thing I've really eaten. Or I could just tell the viewers at home that the V-band's too big. So Lonnie went and found a grinder from some folks over with the Chevelle. You're gonna grind off about a quarter inch on the outside. Yeah, that's Show Chevelle. Them. Yeah, there's that Chevelle. They can see the. Yeah, step up there, go up there, and use like a mule. What are you doing? I'm going up here. Tell them the track closed it. Tell them something good, Zachary. As you can see, the parking lot's almost empty. Late in the day. Say what you test, Zach. I'm standing really close to the microphone. If I stay too loud. Scream. Say what you test, Zach. Zach! 
Do an, would you test, Zach? Do an intro from down there, it'd be funny. On this episode of Mac TV, we don't go to sleep! <laughs> and we eat McDonald's. A lot. All right, Brandon, so what happened to our phone? What do you think, Buck? I don't know. I think that trash that was in there, the filter, Okay. separated the, the upper and the lower, right? Basically well, separated it down and, out it, of the bearing. and it moved it out of the, yeah, out of the bearing. And locked it up. Rotated to the side, and the magnet sucked it over, right? The winding uh, over to the so side. It stuck it. Yeah. Uh, it's a 17 or $1,800 pump, so we'll just try to use this one and not buy another one for now. It'll go all the way to the point where it doesn't. So. Camera. Oh. Sorry, I forgot. Let's try that again. This week on Mac TV, we try stuff. Welcome back to Mac TV. Okay. We can't. Fab TV. AKA Low Dollar Motorsports is the man. This guy is a genius. I'm gonna say it on national television. Genius. <laughs> He's gone. Just put Colts on there. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna need to put a bolt in this thing. <laughs> Thank you, Tina. Thanks, Johnny Cash, for sacrificing your pump. Colt McCoffee. He's a man. When you see this, that's a way to be a team player, buddy. Oh, and thanks for the wheels, but I think we flat spotted your tires. We probably owe you tires. Don't ask how that happened. Don't pay attention to the internet three days ago. Look how good that one sounds. Hey, it's leaking. You guys ready to see what the jagged hater pipe sounds like? Robbie. That buffer's got the same effect. I don't want you to talk about our viewers like that. They like music, and I like music too, but YouTube hates music, so we can't play it while we're having a video. We got one hater pipe on because they were the wrong V band, so Lonnie did some customizing with the cutoff wheel. Um, oh, we had the fuel tank in, like, in and out like five times, but ended up having to go get the pump off Johnny Cash, which was thankfully not too far from here, which is Colt's car, the Black Fox body. Our buddy Clayton Simpson went and drove all the way to Flat Rock, which is a good hour and a half from here. Took the pump off and drove all the way back just to deliver it to us. Got that on. Um, we found a lot of little issues today, but still managed to run a 787. 787. Well, what did we run today? 780. No, 770 seven, 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 something. 780? So we made a good pass. Still need to put more in the 60. Um, we got the longest trip of the day, the, the week, tonight, and we are leaving later than we have all At week. Eight so We're leaving four hours later. This is, it's 8 o'clock? It's 8 o'clock, but it takes us 10 hours. 10 hours? 
Okay, so, taking a stand out. so we're not gonna sleep tonight. Lots of miles to go, but I think we got everything sorted out, and that's about it. Shout out to Cole and Brandon Dollar and his brother Jamie. We fixed an oil leak that I had. I had a loose fitting on the the turbo feeds. Joe Barry loaned us a bunch of his tools. Uh, what's his name? Paul. Paul Papow. Paul Papow. Papow. Number four one Paul. Um, he's super cool dude he helped us with our fuel pump when we thought we were rebuilding it but ended up it's not really rebuildable it's been literally so long since we've been working on this thing i am starting to lose my mind lonnie what do you have to add bud i have to add nothing we have a lot of great friends we do like somebody one great man said it takes a village to come together but we don't have a village because it's only the two of us we just have the village pointing out and telling us what the we're doing wrong. Gosh, we should put that on paper. Yeah. You should really sure. put pen to paper sometime. Yep, that's a shirt. Alright. Let's hit the road. Alright. Be careful. Oh yeah. You gotta get Papa Todd in the video. Did you already get Papa Todd? Earlier. Okay. My dad stayed in help also. He got us food. Are he you went kidding and got me? us food. That was like on a scale of one to ten, that was a fifteen. Yeah. Because he nobody had, nobody ate times. anything. Dude, you're sucking up all my camera time, dude. He, he, he told me everything I was yeah, doing wrong, like everything I else. Know, in my he, we're talking about. And now he's arguing with Ronnie, yeah. little Ronnie. Love you, buddy. Be careful. Yeah. Hey, Papa Todd. You know this Tell me everything Todd. I know. Look at him. He told me everything. I don't he know knows. if he's doing. Look at him. Now we're gonna talk <laughs> about him. And he's now you're talking. No, look at me. Listen to him with your ears or your eyes, and see him with your ears. But look at the camera. Look no, the don't look directly at the camera. Look past the camera. Yeah. I don't know but look at the camera. I don't know what to do with my hands. Look at the camera. Look at look at Zach. Don't look at Zach. What do I do with my hands? Hey, look at this. Go. Hey, come here. Oh, I Are you not entertained? I hooked it here and then went over there and it must have came off. sleep may be involved. Black and sleep. We're uh, on four hours. Um, we have uh, spent a long day at the track. It was handled well by everybody. Uh, we were not the last to leave. We were third to leave out of the track at eight o'clock. So uh, yeah, we're pumped. We're pumped. We are on day three, finishing We're heading to track number four. Track number four. We just got to make it through tomorrow and then get back. Yeah. 300 miles away from uh, drag weeking in a uh, no prep car. Is that right? Drag weeking in no prep yep. car? Yep. Drag weeking in no prep car. Yep. Drag weeking in no prep car. And they pretty much got a pretty awesome vacation. Oh. What the? Alright, we're going to take these lights back on. We're trying to film a video here. They don't want us out here, I guess. No. 
Okay, thank you. We're, we're, we're leaving. You only cut it off because those people pulled up. Oh. I'll just yell at them until you're closed. Thank you. On this episode of Mac TV, we cut the lights off. So, we're on gas stop number four. We went through checkpoint one. We did not check in with you because- We went to the hen house and Lonnie got a little sidetracked. Yes, I got really distracted by the hen house. <laughs> we're trying to keep this PG. Oh, cool. If we can't keep it PG, then my daughter's not gonna be able to watch it. I'm not the one that makes it un PG, but that's a- Insert all bad things Nick said. Zach, he's really gotta watch his language. We, checkpoint one was a rest area, very late. So we didn't really just roll through it, hurry up. We are over halfway. I owe somebody a dollar. We're not gonna show him, but we're gonna owe him a dollar because I said we were short. A little close up with his little mittens. You've got the tiniest paws I've ever seen. Look at his hands. Look how small they are. He got a little boy you hands. Such small hands. <laughs> Dude, gas station food. Hot raw dragly. Seems to be this year the theme is kind of strange. It's pretty good. That's every dry week, but if you're actually being race car. That's not a trash bag there.
this week on Mac TV. Oh. <laughs> say, today on Mac TV. Go. Today on Mac TV, we go to the in house. a chocolate pretzel under the seat and I made sure that I left 